there's a lot that just the amount of erosion that it takes for that to happen to blocks like this of this um, pneumolytic limestone, which is a very hard form of limestone full of fossils. And it's it's you're talking like two, three feet in some places of erosion of limestone. And if you look at the studies that have been done into like limestone erosion rates, and there's been several, they've studied them in coastal wave action environments where it's like getting battered by waves, they put in rivers. You know, they put limestone cubes on the top of one of the governmental buildings in D.C. and, and left it there and studied it over decades. And they're like, OK, it's tiny amounts. But in a normal weathering environment, right, this is assuming a lot more rainfall than what happens in Egypt, uh, which gets very little rainfall, by the way. But a place like Washington, D.C. or uh, somewhere where you get like 40, 40 inches of rain a year, something like that, it would take... Of just normal weathering erosion to do two feet of er- two feet of, of erosion like this more than a hundred thousand years. 